you see how weird they see is talking about it with them. Like he haven't even hardly blinked. He got shades on. He's looking at him like you serious right now. He can't even look at him with a straight face. So yeah, this is an awkward conversation having it with your podcast. Let's get it. All right. So here we are. You already know what we're going to be on. We're going to be on this Adam 22 mess. This mess has been going on for so long. I don't even know what to say about this. This this is whew, it's so hot right now. In a bad way. But in other words, yeah, let's get it. Let's see what he's going to be talking about. Because you know Chisel, he not. Adonis is not going to let up. You know he's not going to let up. So we're going to see what he's talking about. Yeah, that happened. One week later. Hey, guys. Guess what? Oh, I'm my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally happening. Nah, son. What? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I, I know. beg your pardon? Alright, so boom. Question for the audience. Would you allow your newlywed spouse of less than 90 days this. to engage in court affairs, getting piped by a Mandingo <laughs> warrior for the why first did, time since why the, the hell he had to say it like that? have been in a relationship? Sounds like a crazy scenario, but it was the reality for the co-host of Plug Talk, the host of the No Jumper podcast, Mr. Adam yeah. 22, because his New spouse, Lena the Plug, also known New. as Lena the Mom, took black dick. After seven years together, we've been doing porn pretty much the whole time, but we've gotten more and more deeper into the conversation or into the, the porn stuff. And mm -hmm. after, you know, many hundreds and hundreds of threesomes and stuff, yeah. I decided, well, we decided, we've been having this conversation for like damn near a year. Okay. A year? She shot her first ever scene with another man. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Black cock. We know he has a big black cock. She was telling me. Oh like, my god. I'll not do it if you don't want me to do it. If it's gonna hurt gonna you, ask you that. it's if it's gonna That's bum you out, ever. then like if it's gonna really like make you sad and it's gonna hurt your feelings, then I won't do it. And I told her like, just go do it. Just go. Lena, what's that? It's what just the my hell? coworker, babe. <laughs> no, the hell he did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't win here on you. I can't. The reality is, is that her career has been, you know, helped by me for sure, but also helped. You see how weird they see is talking about it with them. Like, he haven't even hardly blinked. He got shades on. He's looking at him like, you serious right now? He can't even look at him with a straight face. So, yeah, this is an awkward conversation having it with your podcast. Very awkward. I just don't see exactly how you can have that conversation with other people. I really don't. But. They're all adults, so I'm guessing they're okay with it. I do not know. But we know how other people feel about the situation, though. We do. Held back by me to a certain extent because of the fact that we would only shoot together. Slipping underneath the labia minora, entering the labia majora, bypassing the hymen, invading the vaginal canal. Oh, my God, hymen, dude. Saying hello to the Grafenberg spot, entering and exiting and entering and exiting, and entering, and exiting, contacting the cervix, making it rain vaginal secretion on a oh, night where God. it's headed to O-Town on the train to Orgasm City. The reason why I didn't want her to do it was not because of my own personal jealousy or anything like that. It was really just the fact that I didn't want to be the guy who got roasted on the internet that week. And yet, here we are. Well, exactly. Well, well. <laughs> How the turntables 
You know what's interesting about this? One would assume how long was it on her mind to want to sleep with other individuals? I know, right? And Adam, they had been talking about this for about a year just to a see year. how it would affect the business because evidently their clientele their audience had been i don't want to say demanding but highly requesting for her to sleep with somebody outside of just wow that makes sense sometimes i wish i could sleep with other men just because logistically for my schedule it would be easier because adam is a very busy person and so sometimes it's hard to call upon him to work with him especially when i want to have like a threesome for my only fans and i have to coordinate with one other person's schedule so there's that component um and yeah obviously i think it'd be fun and hot if we did stuff with other guys but that's a shame i like having you as mine as only yours as only mine yes i'm afraid of you got some bad news hmm <laughs> <laughs> He was giving her the Wakandan strokes, the thunder strokes, the black lightning into her doggone posterior. And what's transpiring now? Because we recognize you guys are running a whole operation. So I'm pretty sure you got an editing team I know, right? on the scene in anticipation of the entire project dropping. And guess what? You've got to hear the edits of your wife being deflowered every single hour of the night. You just so happen to be home. 4 a.m. You wake Bruh. up in the morning. You're wondering why. You looking at your wife sleeping so peacefully, but on her mind, in her dream, she's reminiscing of the thunderclaps coming from the Mandingo Warrior. Adonis, come on, bruh. We gonna cry in the car. Yeah, he is. That's your wife! I got three rules. Don't kiss the motherfucker. Mm, period. Don't let him know on your face. But what about protecting her <laughs> Raycon? I know he did not just say that. I know he did not just say that. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know if he did or he didn't. I haven't seen the video. I honestly haven't seen it, but you better hope he did. And now a word from our sponsors. Oh, the, the Raycons. Bonus, and I better not catch you outside without your Raycons. Raycon is disrupting the electronics get industry. Get lined up. Let me get this lined up. Their wireless earbuds start 15% off your very next Raycon purchase. Let them know I sent you. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Have you ever been with a BBC before? I have probably had sex with like... Three black guys, maybe? Are you sure about that? So I lied, so there's four, <laughs> and two okay, four. of them were famous. No, but we, I hope you black men were paying attention. I hope you black men were paying attention. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about body language or whatever the case may oh be. Because God. at the end of the day, with the adult films, there is an element of acting that exists in that career path. However, yeah. I'd be remiss if I did not mention, look how she looking at this Mandingo Warrior. Finally gave my wedding gift, and um, he's here right now. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Really? Congratulations! Oh. Did he not just... Oh my god. You cannot convince me that she was not yearning for this day, an unyielding desire to be... Adonis, I'm with you on that. Cause it just seems, it just seems that's what's happening. It just seems like that's what exactly is happening. She rather just, yeah, that's crazy. That's real crazy. Cause it just seems like, yeah, that's what it is. It seems like it says she, she was waiting for that moment. Waiting for that very, very moment to for him to give in and cave in and just be like, yes, you can do it. With the meat that's attached to a Negro Mandingo warrior, I'm telling you right now, Shorty was taking this man's tattooed white meat and was not feeling it until she happened to see the superior song of the Wakandan warrior. Did this woman's vagina get more wet than the goddamn water temple? Wet and wild. You're wet. 
Why are you so wet? You're making me so Really? Oh, I didn't want to be the one that everybody yeah, was making feedback. videos about, whatever. And I slowly started to feel like that's kind of a stupid reason for me to hold her back from doing something that would realistically be very, very good for her career, you know? Now, granted, men and women are different. So, of course, there's going to be double standards. However, me personally, I think it's foolish for you for willfully go out there and just believe that you could go sleep with all these other women, despite the fact that you happen to have your wife's consent. And then when the shoe is now on the other foot and she's interested in doing so, I think it'd be foolish to sit there and be like, well, that's where I draw the line. You can't do that. Yeah, true, so, true, true. Aside from all of this. I can find a little sliver of respect, a little bit of honor in their yeah. decision to go ahead and go forth with this. Because as the song would say, it's cool when you do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck. So I can actually say there's a little bit of respect that I can have for them here. Because of, at the end of the day, it's not as if this was something that was done for pleasure. It was done for business. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly allegedly that's ignorant this is just kind of like her exactly. doing what she can to make her only fans go fucking crazy yeah. in the meantime in the lead up to her basically exiting the game in a couple of years if i happen to be in this career field and i was thinking of an exit strategy given okay. that women do have that biological clock that exists over there knowing that you're racking in all of this money from only fans because truly the moment that you're in there you're in there Right? You can't just dip a toe into the adult industry and just assume <laughs> as if it's not going to follow you. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it through and through, right? Yeah. So with that being the case, the two of them recognize the business structure. They recognize how the demand is here. And moreover, the fact that you have all of these individuals willing to shell out all this money just to watch his wife get pounded. Moreover, watch him True. pound True. other True. individuals. Why not capitalize on it? You already in there. Might as well go 100%. And that they're thinking exit strategy for down the line. Truly, this is very good business. As Truly. As nasty as it is, it's very good business. True. I can respect the business acumen of Leonard Plug and Adam 22. Do I still think it's disgusting? Without question. Because the truth is, is that the guy that she shot with is somebody that I'm very cool with, that I spent time around. I trust him. I, when she went off to go do this shit, it didn't. You know, I wasn't like hurting inside and you just were, knowing yeah. that she was doing. No, yeah. no, no, I stay home. I'm not, I'm not being the driver. Yeah, I'm not, I'm Funny enough, people on Twitter thought maybe this was just all a publicity stunt in order to no, it wasn't more traction towards their OnlyFans accounts or their podcast or hell, even their social medias. One would say this is a hell of a publicity stunt, truly, because think about it. Everybody's been talking about it over the course of the past week. But Lena herself decided to take to Twitter and showcase, oh, no, this real. It's really real. Oh my God. Oh, no. But one way or another, this man, Adam 22, <laughs> is going to have to live with the memory of seeing the actual footage of another man piping his wife after they got married. Because there seems to be a stigma of people always talking about body count and past partners and all this other stuff. Which yeah, I've been hearing that go around. To the conversation. But. When you talk about somebody getting pounded that happens to be your spouse after you already tied the knot, that's a whole different conversation. Nasty bitch. And again, <laughs> let me specify, I've said this throughout the years of me being on the internet. I couldn't care less about what it is that people do in their personal life. But when you post it on social media, when it then comes across my desk, yeah. when the people ask for my opinion on it, come across my desk too. hear what it is that I have. But nevertheless, live and let live, I guess, right? But I'd love to ask you guys, if you were in his shoes, what would be your response? I am having a very bad day. I am <laughs> in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. Despite how nasty and curious this entire situation may be, I can find a little bit of honor and respect for the two of these individuals, despite their degeneracy and career path. How they're going about it, mm. if you're going to do it that way, I would believe this is the way to do it. Although the time frame of just now getting married, not yeah, that's Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little cringe right there. Weds, somebody else is sleeping with your spouse. I think that's crazy. But given this is their nature of work, I can't sit here and roast them for that. Nope. Oh. 
also quick story time yo this one time i get this random message on twitter They're like hey jason uh my wife's a big fan she wants to shoot a movie with you uh what, what? Are your, uh, movie filming rates i'm like yeah it's 4k he's like okay it's fine it's fine we'll give you 10 i'm like all right cool so i go there and i shoot the film with the woman i dropped some severe glizzy destruction on her and the husband is recording this right i'm like this is weird as shit like, some people i never understood it right no 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 son did he just say up there and say his that that the husband was recording? Bro. I can see if a different person was recording it. His what? He was there? Man, ain't there's there's no way, yo. No way. Nonetheless, so I dropped the glitch on the woman or whatever. So she dropping the gut go three thousand. She's saying, "Hey, hey, little man, you like that?" He was like, "Yes, girl." I want to have sex with your wife, and I'm not just talking any kind of sex with your wife. I want to have that kind of perverted sex. It'd have been worse if they dropped the scene what? on Juneteenth. Doctor Ubal would have been losing his mind. You don't find that suspicious? I have a dream <laughs> that black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics Whoa, will be able to join hands and sing. You got a Dr. Umar coon check. I got to check the coons. Free at last. Oh, free Lord. at last. Thank God Almighty. We are free at last. Some of them going to sleep. For God. In your wife's pussy. God, it's my turn. It is. You told me it was my turn. Come on, man. I'm going to. Oh my God. Live let live, I guess, right? But I'd love to ask you guys. I can't, if yo. you were in his shoes, I can't. <laughs> what would be your response to this entire situation? Because it's one thing if she just went behind your back, filmed the scene, and then you happen to find out from the internet. It's another thing if you had the conversation, which Adam had alluded to, for a man. year plus, and then ultimately made the decision to say, hey, I'm going to give you the green light. And then you watch how the people react. I'm very curious how you guys would react to this. I know, scenario. right? Let it be known in the comment section what you feel on this particular situation. I look forward to reading the dialogue. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member. Oh my God, yeah. I'm so curious about. It. You, you know what? Let's 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 go check this out. Let's. Let's check this out, cause we got the we got to see it. We got to see it. Let me see here. Let's see here. It said any respect. It said Lana has for Adam. It's gone at this point. There's no turning back. <laughs> Bro, Adam is just getting roasted. He's getting cooked, grilled, sauteed, flambéed. And all around Charles Broad. Yes, when we first heard about this mug, yes, that's what was going on. I'm just like with him. I'm thinking it's a publicity stunt or whatever, but no. It was real. So he married her knowing that she does this for a living. So pardon me if I don't feel bad for him. Yeah, yeah. He already knew what he was getting himself into. Then he sat up there and married her. So, yeah, this is why shaming must be brought back. People are wilding out here. Yep. That Star Wars bat scene was hilarious. Had me dead. Man, he, he was doing too much and everything like that. With that one, he was doing really too much. But then it's not that short from the truth, though. It's not that short from the truth. It's, it's probably a little short from that, but it ain't that much that too far it's not too far from there adam 22 really did let his wife get black of course he did that's where he that's where he showcased all his talents at <laughs> of course oh boy i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna let my wife do any of this shit he said i'd rather be single <laughs> yeah if you're gonna do all that yeah oh boy never sleep with an adult film star no matter how much clout you have yep that's also true oh boy i swear yeah i don't even think tlc my 
I don't even think TLC, my 90 day fiance, could write this, write a script like this. Psh, I don't think they could neither. Oh my God. But yeah, psh, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy. And then on the side, and then see, we're we going we gonna to get to some of that stuff. Because we got all this stuff over here on the side. Talking about Adam 22. Him, his decision, everything like that. Of course, everybody. Everybody's like actually like. Actually talking about, you know. Oh, Lord. Pearly talked about it too. I didn't even know he lashed out on Twitter. But yeah. After this video, you know. If you're new, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button. And all that stuff. So, you know. We're going to get everything rolling again. So, you know. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. And all that good stuff. But, um, yeah.